It appears that members of Congress consistently beat the S&P 500 in their personal investment. Nancy Pelosi. And a lot of others. Right. And Pelosi especially. But she's the famous one. Yeah. yeah. So how does that, is Nancy Pelosi, do you think, a stock picking genius? No, she, she has to be operating on information that's non-public. Or is it not, Wouldn't that say, make her a criminal? Yeah, but, you know, look at Joe Biden right now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look what's going on right now. Like, yeah. this, listen. Do you I think was, he's a good stock picker? Joe Biden? No, I think he's great at laundering money, though. Damn! Yeah, I mean, honestly. Apparently. What, from what I've seen right now, I don't get it. Like, just imagine if it was Trump who was president. Yeah. But every single day in the front page of the New York Times, the Washington Post, and every other publication would be like $40,000 check for $20,000 check from his, his brother. Like, it'd be game over. Cries for impeachment. Oh, yeah. It'd be like the world falling down. He's in China's pocket. But it's like we're living in an alternative universe right now where people in power, especially on the, on the, on the left, right? can operate almost with impunity. And Pelosi's a perfect example. She's not the only one, but it's inconceivable that someone could have that high return in the market when everyone else can't do it. So what's the edge? The edge is she knows le key legislation. And also, you know, maybe someone's whispering in her ear, okay? Because, you know, they want to be on our good side, right? So it's, it's hard to prove So, though. But it's just prima facie though. So if, you, if what you're saying is true, and that is that the most sophisticated people in the world can't beat the S&P average, right. Than any member of Congress, and I think they are on average dumber than, than the population. Especially the career politicians. For sure. Yeah. There's no possibility they could do that with that inside information. No, it's not possible. But again, so how do you go proving that, right? They have to issue subpoenas. And listen, I think that the, in, in this case, the solution is they shouldn't be allowed to trade these people. Yes. They should not be allowed to trade. It's insane that they're allowed to. And, you know, as you said, it's prima facie, right? You know, if it looks like shit, smells like shit, well, guess what? Yeah, it's shit. And that's, you know, or it's bullshit in this case. Right. So listen, she's done incredibly well in an area where like the most professional investors struggle to even match the index. So somehow she's doing three times as well. I don't know.